So my friends and I were walking through the woods, and all of a sudden, this guy with a hatchet started following us. I don't know what to think. Do I run? Do I tell them to run? I don't know if he's going to chase us. I don't know. And common sense says if a guy is walking after you with an axe, wearing a mask, probably not the best idea to ask him what he wants. This guy is going crazy. He's like freaking huge and tall. I'm going to crap myself crazy. He's walking. We're running. I don't know how he's still catching up to us. It's ridiculous. He's been walking behind us at the same pace as our running, carrying an axe. I don't know how far people can carry axes without getting tired. I was in the Lumberjack Marathon. It's a good ways, but it's not as far as he's going. And he hasn't stopped to pee once. I've done it twice, but I didn't stop. And I've looked back. He has no wet stain. It, it, it's not always easy being the killer in this situation. I mean, you, you gotta walk. You can't run, you can't jog. They're all running. You'll, you'll catch them eventually. Like, one of them will trip and hurt their ankle. And that's when you spring on them. I guess I just lost the trail for a second. That, that is what happened. Quick, the barn! It's our only shot! a bad idea. We'll give, you our, we'll give you all our money. I'll give you candy and Nintendo's. We'll I'll give you, you anything you want. My clothes? You want my clothes? Is this about my clothes? I'll take you ice skating. Please. Please oh don't God. kill us. Uh, oh, oh, what they said. Please, please don't kill us, man. Please don't kill uh, uh, Please. This is the most terrifying thing of my life. He's just standing there with his axe, and I have nowhere to go. I hope he kills him at first. I don't know what to do. We're cornered. I'm crapping my pants. Like, literally crapping my pants. I hope he kills him at first. Versus face round one. Ding ding. There's not gonna be round two. No. This sucks. I hope he kills me first.
I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, just in the moment, trying to be the hero and and save everybody. I mean, I, I wanted to be remembered for something great before I died. So here I was lunging at this guy, and I just trip and break my freaking neck. I I almost I can't believe it. And and here I am, just dead, completely bored out of my mind. And and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I was just so stupid. I can't believe that happened to me. <laughs> Poor kid. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Well, I mean, I was just about to kill him, and then they started talking to me. They were making some pretty good points. So, uh, I decided I'm not going to kill him. Except for that one kid. That kid's an idiot. I kissed a girl and I liked it. I found her cherry chapstick. I kissed a girl just to try it. I hope my boyfriend don't mind it. It felt so wrong. It felt so right. Does me not in love tonight. You know, he's not actually a bad guy. I mean, we've got to talking. We got to know him. He seems actually really cool. I mean, I've never had that many people try to kill me, but the ones that have never ended up being my friends like this guy. I mean, I guess it just goes to show you, you can't just judge an axe murderer by how much he tries to kill you. Me and him are actually out going out to the bars later. Scope out some babes. Women love the dark, mysterious type, I've been telling them, you know. And I've never seen a woman to date who has said no to an axe. You know, it's really great. He loves to do a lot of the same stuff we do. I was alone. I never knew what her love could do. Who then we touched, then we searched about the love and things. Ooh, all night. So how was your day, dear? Fine. Good. How was your day today, Patrick? Did you meet anyone new? Patrick, eat your peas. Mm.